Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I just got back from a huge shopping trip in Seattle with my mom. It was my birthday a couple weeks ago and every year for my birthday we just go crazy for a weekend, get a hotel in Seattle. So first birthday present to myself that I got that I am so excited about is what I'm filming with. It's a new camera. I hope that you guys can tell a difference. Please let me know in the comments below if the quality seems better, if the audio sounds better. I would just love to hear your guys' feedback and everything. I'm still kind of figuring it out so hopefully this video turns out okay but anyways the reason of this video is a huge makeup haul. This bag is stuffed full with a bunch of makeup products that I am super excited to share with you guys. I also am going to do a clothing haul too but I wanted to split them into two different hauls because I just have way too much stuff and this video would be forever long if I tried to do them all in one haul. So today we're going to do makeup. So let's just dive in. I went to Ulta, Target, MAC, and Sephora. So I got a lot of stuff. But I've been using kind of some of these products so I'll be able to give you guys kind of a first impression, a little review on the products that I have been using and let you guys know what I think. So first up, we'll start with MAC. I got a bottle of their Fix Plus. I've never used this before, but so many people here on YouTube just rave about this stuff, so I wanted to give it a try. I have been using it a little bit. Um, it is really refreshing. I haven't used it for like pigments or anything like that, and that's what I am super excited about. But um, so far, I like it. I like that it kind of dries down the powder on my face, so it makes me look just like a little less cakey and just kind of helps your makeup look less powdery and stuff like that. So, so far I am really enjoying this. Next up I got in MSF and this is in the shade Soft and Gentle. I have heard so many things about this highlighter that I just had to finally pick it up. That's what it looks like. It's a lot more like bronzy than I was expecting it to look, but nonetheless it is absolutely gorgeous. I have not used this one yet on my skin, so I cannot tell you guys my thoughts about it, but with just swatching it, I can tell that I am probably going to love it. It is absolutely beautiful. Next up from MAC, I got a few lip products. I got a lip liner. This is in their, like, um, special packaging. I don't know why I got it in this packaging, but it's just um, Whirl from MAC, but it's the collection Brooke Candy. I'm not too sure about this collection. I have not heard of it, so I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's kind of silvery. I'm sure you guys have seen Whirl many times. It's just a great kind of mauve reddish, pinkish color. Really, really pretty. I actually am wearing it um, today underneath this next lipstick that I got, which is also from one of their collections. And this packaging is so stinking cute. It's like their tribal collection. I'm not exactly sure the name of it, but I think this is just the cutest packaging. I have ever seen. I'm so glad that I got one of these while they're still around. Um, this is in the shade Arrowhead and it is a matte. Swatching it by itself is kind of like scary, but um, on top of Whirl, which is what I'm wearing today, it is absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on top. So that's on top of Whirl right there. Um, so it is absolutely beautiful. I love this color. Also, like, putting it in the middle of your lips if you're wearing a dark lipstick, just to make your lips kind of pop a little bit. So, absolutely love this shade. Next lipstick I got is Syrup, and this is a luster. That's the color right there. Really, really pretty. There it is right there. This is another one that is great to go over Whirl. Really pretty. I've been wearing this quite a bit and I love it. Next lipstick I got is Twig. This is another one that I love. And this is a satin. Oh, this is so pretty. I love Twig. There's Twig right there. That's Syrup. That's Arrowhead. And that is Arrowhead and Whirl right there. And last lipstick I got from MAC is the Infinis Velvet Teddy. I got this because I'm thinking about wearing this on my wedding day. 
Um, I'm trying to figure out makeup and stuff for my wedding day, so I wanted to try, you know, a few different lipsticks and things like that. I'm still figuring it out, but Velvet Teddy is a matte, and again, this is really, really, really pretty. There it is right there. These are actually my first MAC lipsticks ever. I've never bought a MAC lipstick before, so I'm really excited to start collecting these guys, especially the limited edition packaging. These are just so cute, but I love these. I'm so excited to have them. All right, next up, we'll go into stuff I got at Sephora. I didn't get too many things at Sephora, but there is a few things that I wanted to pick up. So first, I got a blush from NARS. This is in the shade Madly. This is really, really different than anything that I have right now, so that's why I wanted to get it. I usually get the, like, the same color blushes, so I almost got the shade Amore, which is like a peachy pink, but I just have so many of those, so I decided to get Madly. Kind of hard to see on my finger, but it's a really pretty, like, uh, nudie, pink, peachy color with like a teeny bit of shimmer in it. Let's see if I can build up a swatch to show you guys. So there it is right there. It's really different than anything that I have. I absolutely love it though. I am wearing it today. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but it's really easy to apply, really easy to blend out. Um, so I've really been enjoying this. Another product from NARS I got is one of their eyeshadow duos. And this is in the shade um, Zold, I think. And I got this because Kathleen Lights raves about this duo. If I can figure out how to get it open. This is what it looks like. It is so, so stunning. I am so glad that I got this. I am wearing it on my eyes today. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. That's what it looks like. I have um, the like, I have this lighter gold shade all over my lid and then I have the darker brown shade on the outer V. I think it's absolutely stunning. I am so happy that I picked this up. These are so pigmented and just gorgeous. That's what they look like swatched on my fingers. Oh, they're so pretty. They're there right there. I would definitely recommend NARS eyeshadows. These are my first NARS eyeshadows. I'm pretty excited about them. Also, to go with this, I wanted to get Bobbi Brown's um, single eyeshadow in the shade Camel, but literally I went to three places and every single place that I went to was sold out. Nordstrom and both Sephora's that I went to were sold out of it. So that was a little disappointing, but I ended up ordering it online, so that should be here soon. I've heard great things about that shade as well. Kathleen Light says that she uses Bobby Brown Camel with this duo all the time, so really excited for that to come. So I can try those all together. In the crease today, I just used the um, Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Next up is something from Makeup Forever. This is their, what is this called? Incredible Cover Concealer. This is fairly new for them. That's what it looks like. I got mine in the shade Y31, which I don't know if I went a little bit too dark with this. I think it'll be okay. I wanted it to conceal, so I just wanted it to put directly under my eyes to cover up any dark circles. And so far, I absolutely love it. When I first got it, I wasn't too sure about it for a couple reasons. One, I absolutely hate the applicator. It's just such a pain. It's not a doe foot. It's like this little squeezy tube and it comes out of that little hole right there. And I always, always squeeze way too much out than I need. I wish that it was a doe foot. So I am not too crazy about that. And I, the last couple times that I used this, I was out of town. I didn't bring my beauty blender. So I had to blend it out with my finger. So it was kind of hard to do that way, but um, now that I'm kind of getting used to the applicator and I blend it out with a beauty blender, I think it's absolutely flawless. I am wearing it directly under my eyes today, and I think I really love this. It was a toss-up. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this or the, the Urban Decay concealer that everyone raves about, but I opted for this one, and I'm pretty glad that I did. Next up is something from Hourglass. This is something that got me in the little line when they have all the, like the little sample products. I got a sample for this a while ago and I absolutely love it. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy the full size because it is so expensive, but I saw this little guy for, I think it was $15 and this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is what the little sample looks like. Um, this is so beautiful. I love this, it's absolutely 
stunning. It's so smooth on the skin when you rub it in. It just feels like velvet. I don't know how else to describe it except for velvet. <laughs> I I love it so much. Um, I was planning on wearing this for my wedding day, but then I noticed that it says it has SPF 15, so I'm not really sure how this is going to be with flash photography. If anyone knows, please let me know um, your experience with it. I'll have to play around with it a little bit, but I love this stuff. I don't think I'll ever buy the full size because, again, it is so, so, so expensive, but I'm happy to have the little guy for now. Uh, next up is another Hourglass product. And this is for sure something I'm going to wear on my wedding day. Um, this is their ambient lighting powder in the shade Luminous Light. This is just so beautiful. I would never usually buy something so expensive like this, but again, it's for my wedding day. And I think it's just perfect. It's a highlighter that is a highlighter, but it's not something that is going to like look obnoxious or super standout-ish, which I don't want on my wedding day. I just want to have a nice glow from within, um, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous, so I'm really excited to play around with this guy. Last up from Sephora, I picked up their, um, it's from the brand Sephora, and it's their Illuminator Brow Enhancer, and I got this because I was gonna get the, um, Benefit Give Me Brow, but then I saw this and it was quite a bit cheaper and it's like exactly the same product and exactly the same color. It's just like a pink kind of crayon to highlight your brow bone. So I picked this up and so far I'm loving it. I am wearing it on my brows today and I think it works great. So if you guys are looking for a cheaper alternative to the Benefit Give Me Brow, no, not the Benefit Give Me Brow, Benefit High Brow? What is that called? You know what I mean. Anyways, then I would check this out because it's like literally exactly the same product. Okay, next up we're gonna move into stuff I got from Ulta. First up, I'm not gonna talk about these for too long because I'm going to film a lip swatch and review video on these. I can get them straightened up. These are the new CoverGirl Girl Kitty Cat Matte um, lipsticks. I got seven of them. I got as many as I could find from Ulta and Target. So stay tuned for lip swatch and review on these guys. Next up from Ulta, I just got a couple lashes. I got the Ardell 106s. These just look really fun and I've never tried them before. So I got these and then I got the Ardell Wispies which again I have never tried so I thought that those would be fun to try out. Next up I got a lip liner from Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner and this is in the shade East End Snob. I got this because um, Jam Beauty is that a name? I think so, yeah. Talks about these all the time and specifically this color. That's what it looks like. It's just a great, like, everyday kind of pink shade. These are so creamy. Like, I think I like these better than the MAC Lip Liner. I don't know. The MAC Lip Liner is kind of drying, and I like that this one is um, retractable and not, you don't need a sharpener for it. So I've really, really been loving that one. Next up, this is a repurchase. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this mascara, favorite mascara from the drugstore, so I don't need to talk about this for too long. This is another repurchase for me. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This is a great highlighter pin from the drugstore. This is in the shade, I think I got light. What shade did I get? Yep, this is in the shade light. Next up, I got the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I have not tried this yet, but I've heard that this is a dupe for the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So I'm really excited to test these guys out side by side and kind of see how they work. Next up, I got the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. Um, people rave about this color, rave about this formula. This is my first... Stila Liquid Lipstick, and I've been wearing it a couple times, and I really, really do enjoy it. It dries completely matte, but it's not overly drying. It's not uncomfortable to wear on the lips. The color is absolutely gorgeous, so I have definitely been enjoying this guy. So next up, I got the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in Gilded Honey. Everyone and their mother raves about this highlighter, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so glad that I picked it up. Even like the swirl in there, I love the packaging of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to play around with this a little bit more. Next up, I got two of the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. 
I got this first one in Amber Rush and then I got this second one in Iced Latte. Both of these are great like everyday shades. I don't own any of these. I have never ever tried them but boy was I missing out. These are such such great eyeshadows from the drugstore. So here is Amber Rush and here is Ice Latte and whoo they are so stunning. I have not used these on my eyes yet but I cannot wait. This would be a bomb ass highlighter too. Um, but yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to play around with these a little bit more. Next up, I just picked a, up a NYX Jumble Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over. Just a great white base for eyeshadows, so I'm really excited to try this. And then last but not least, finally, I just picked up a repurchase of my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade light. I've been using this for a really, really long time, and mine is almost out, and I just cannot stand to be without it, so I got another one. Oh, wait, no, I lied. This is the last product. Um, I got the Wet n' Wild, this is, what is it called? Mega Glow Contouring Palette. That's what it looks like. This is not new. Um, they have two of them. One has the banana shade on it and a little deeper of a contour, but I opted for this one, and... I do like this. Um, I've only used it once. I used it today. I use it for my contour and for setting my under eyes. I really like it for setting my under eyes. The contour, I don't know, it's really pigmented. Like, I went in a little bit heavy first and I had to like blend it out. Um, but I don't know. I need to play around with it a little bit more. I need to have a lighter hand. And also, when you go in, um, with your brush, it kind of kicks up quite a bit of powder, so you have to be careful about that, but all in all, this is a really, really nice drugstore um, contour and highlight duo. Okay, that was everything for this haul. Hopefully, this video was not too long. I'm looking at my time skip right now, and I'm like at 30 minutes, so hopefully I can trim this down quite a bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have tried these products, what you think about them. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. Please hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.